Today we are going to create an insane amount of lag using stoking, using bellows, using a stoked crucible and using a stoked cauldron. And by insane amount of lag, I mean an insane amount of lag. Guys, this is Yav Gaming here. Welcome back to the episode of Subtech Ages. This is episode number 14. And last episode, we went into some better with mods. We got ourselves some mechanical power, and we got ourselves a millstone, a saw, and I automated all of this between episodes. So I do want to show you that. Uh, I set up some faster stuff over here. I, do, I did some stuff between episodes, but I want to ask you a question. I have decided from now on that I will be asking a question, I'll be doing a poll and I'll ask a question every episode at the start of every episode and this episode I want to ask you guys, do you enjoy Septech Ages? Do you enjoy modern Minecraft? Do you enjoy the series? Uh, I want to ask you guys because I want to know if you guys like the series or not. Uh, I did a poll on episode 11 uh, and that, that went pretty good. I got some great response from that video from the polls so I thought it might be good uh, to go do a poll again so I think I'm gonna do a poll now on from each video because you know doing a poll is interesting and I get to know uh, the, the opinions and what my viewers think so I get to know more and I get to chat with you guys more yeah so I get to know more and other things right so I want to show you this uh, I automated the millstone over here pretty simple uh, the same input system, right, which then pops out all its items on the top and then the water pushes us towards this hopper and it lands into this dark oak chest. Uh, so that's pretty easy automation. I set up a dispenser over here and I use the turntable because the turntable can, and when powered with mechanical power, actually turns the block on top of it. So I can create a clock with it. So this is a pretty fast clock, which works well because of the turntable. And... I am using it to power this dispenser and dispensers place blocks because of quark so it places a block and I place some down wood over here and the saw automatically chops it down uh, one more thing I want to show you is the cauldron over here this cauldron is pretty fast look at that that is pretty fast this cauldron before was just like so slow it was much slower than the millstone itself the millstone is pretty slow so that is the only thing I can't speed up right now. If you had, I learned that if you had more fire sources around it in 3x3 area, then the faster it goes. So this is the maximum speed I, speed I can take this cauldron through and I think it's pretty fast actually. It's very fast. I want to set up some hibachis over here, right? These hibachis. These hibachis what allowed me to, over here, to create these fire sources. These fire sources are pretty strong. Now getting the hibachi is a bit uh, complicated. Uh, for creating the hibachi, right, you need a stone, a heating element, and concentrated hellfire. For concentrated hellfire, you need a uh, hellfire dust, which I'll be coming to a second ago, in a second, please. So, just have some patience. Uh, and also, we need heating elements, which is just blaze powder, redstone, and string in a cauldron. Uh, using that, right, and then just put the stuff over here, and it just cooks it up into heating elements. Right, and then you what do you do is you make your hibachi over here using the concentrated hellfire. Using the concentrated hellfire, it allows you to build some of your own hibachis. And now you can make your hibachis. And if you add a comma to it, it becomes a kamachi. <laughs> okay, and if you power them with a redstone signal, then what happens? It gives you a fire source basically, and that's pretty simple. And once you place them in a 9x9, I can do that, right. Uh, currently, I want to do... Okay, what I want to do now is grab some of this clay I have. And I'm going to make some blocks out of these. I can make some blocks, right, pretty easily. I'm going to break this block over here. And I'm going to place a block over this. And this should turn into... Uh, oh, yeah, this, this, yeah. So now it turns into a crew. Oh, come on. Uh, I made it too late. This turned into a planter, uh, then into a vase, and then it turns into an urn. I do need an urn, so I will get that, right? And I also need a crucible, so give me the crucible, 
Uh, I just need to wait for it a second and there's the crucible. Yep, there I got. And I can take this and I can put it in a kiln. To get the kiln, I need to be a bit smart, you know. Uh, so I can, what I can do is I can take, I need to do it above the hibachi. So you need to make this weird pattern over here with bricks. I've never used this mod before. Uh, so this is kind of new to me. You know, this is kind of cool to me. So I can put bricks like this. And this is basically a kiln, I think. Uh, let's just test it if it works. And this should start being cooked up. Uh, because there's a hibachi over there. And that hibachi should cook this kiln up. Right? And I don't know how slow of a process is this. Or is it even a, like a... Or is this even suitable? Like, is it even correct? It's even a correct multi-block or something? I don't know. Uh, but what you can do is you can take these over here and you can take them in an urn. As you can see, it takes like that. Uh, maybe you need a block behind it. I'm guessing maybe, right? Because it shows like there's a block behind it. So I'm going to put like an entire thing over here. And hopefully this works, right? Uh, that should work, yeah. This looks a big... This, the bricks though look pretty cool actually. I think Quarks makes the textures like this. This brick texture is actually so good. The vanilla brick texture is just ugly. Ah, it's so ugly. Right, I'm going to set up this automation back again because I do need this stuff and I'll just wait for that. And boop, there we go. And now it's back set up again. Alright, uh, I should probably show you how this works. Right, I just get... Okay, let me just get some of this siding, right? So I get the siding. I place the siding now, it turns into this stuff, molding, and then I take the molding, it becomes the corner, and I take the corner, it becomes into gears. I can put this gear over here and it will place it down, and, you know, I can just place this down and it will automatically place it, and, you know, that's automation. That's automation for you. Yeah, I don't know if this is working or not, I'm going to leave it for now. I think I want to show you how to make some of this concentrated hellfire right to make the hellfire dust you need to first take yourself a filtered hopper place it down and make sure you have a couple because it will break down so you place your soul sand in here i will suggest only place one of them and then you just divide them into groups of eight because each time you need eight ground netherrack for this to work and you just Plop down some of that and that should work. Oh no, uh, you need to turn off your magnet before you do. And also, this day thing is very annoying. Okay, so you just throw some ground netherrack over here and it will spawn a ghast for you right there. And we just kill it very easily because we have the shuriken. I can one shot it and there we go. Yeah, nice. That was pretty easy. And then you just take this uh, hellfire dust over here and you just do that. If you were wondering how to make this ground netherrack, you just ground it up in the millstone. Pretty easy actually. Yeah, you know, just all this easy stuff. Yeah, this is good. Uh, I I don't know if this uh, kiln over here, which I made, is uh, correct or not. But if it is, then this should turn into the crucible. My game crashed. <laughs> Okay, so I checked the crash log and I think it was because of the turntable. So turntable maybe was causing some lag issues, maybe. Maybe that's why the game crashed. I don't know. So I ruined the turntables over here. And instead of that, I just added a simple uh, burnout clock over here. As you can see, uh, if I remove this block over here, I remove these blocks where you can see there are some redstone clocks over here. And because of how redstone clocks and redstone uh torches work these dust over here is powering those that block while that redstone torch is powering this block powering this block over here turning those redstone blocks off then when the entire circuit turns off it turns everything on again so basically this is a repeated uh, redstone clock circuit which works pretty fine and now this is what i'm going to use for everything now uh so what i want to do now uh, i'm going to make a bellow this thing over here right the bellows is pretty interesting and i want to get a couple of it i want to get two of it i think yeah oops made <laughs> made way more than i needed okay so i think i'm gonna put another one over here not that right and i'm gonna put another one over here and okay no that will not work okay i will do that later on uh but what i need to do first and i is i need to make Oh wait, make sure I need to face the correct direction and then also I need to do that 
and to make sure that it faces the right direction which would be a bit hard to do uh, so if we make sure yeah that's the right direction and this crucible over here ended up yeah I'm pretty sure uh, this crucible was not ready by then and now this crucible is and now this is a ready crucible but I need to make sure it's stoked right otherwise like pretty much it is useless so I need to turn on all these clocks over here and this part of the clock should start turning and as you can see uh, that becomes stoke and now this should be working all right guys there was another crash at this time I figured out the actual the actual cause I read the crash log properly it was not the better with mods turntable it was actually Optifine and better with mods having a conflict Optifine has like so many conflicts uh, with so many mods so, like it's better you don't use it in like heavy mod packs because it will have so many so many issues with other mods especially like Galactic Craft uh, advanced rocketry I know like it completely breaks the game when you use Optifine with them uh, but better with mods was working fine but suddenly it's like doing some things now so I don't know uh, so I roomed Optifine now so everything should be fine uh, I took out my cauldron to see the recipe over here and I want to make another one cauldron over here because this time I want to make it stoked so I'm put a cauldron over here and I put a crucible over here and I want to stoke both of them. So if I turn this redstone clock on. Okay that gave a bit of a lag spike. But this should work now. And now this works. And now this should work too. Uh, but why is this not working? Uh, maybe it's not pointed towards the right direction maybe. Uh, that might be a thing. Uh, there we go. Now it's all stoked. Yep that's good. Okay. I should probably put another one of these grates over here. I should probably do that already. Uh, let's go great. Wow, I have a lot of iron wood grates. Okay, right. So let's grab some of these grates over here and let's just plop them down over here, here, and another one over here and here. There we go. And that should cover everything up. Yeah, that actually looks pretty cool. Nice. Uh, other than the redstone stuff, this looks pretty fine. It is creating a bit of lag though. Maybe it's too fast. Maybe we should slow them down a bit. Maybe this will work. I think this should work. Uh, I mean, it shouldn't cause any issues and stuff. But it is causing a bit of lag. Maybe I should use some other clock. Maybe the burner clock is too fast for this. Maybe. Uh, oh no, this is not working. Yeah. I need to make sure. Okay. Yeah. The, the, I need to be in that position. Otherwise, it's not working. So we have a crucible now. And we can see the recipes over here. We have a stoked crucible. And we have an insane, and by insane, I mean insane amount of stuff we can do this. Is. Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't even expect there to be so many recipes. Okay. This is huge, actually. Uh, one of the main reasons why you need the stoke crucible is to get soul-forged steel ingots. Stoke was puh. Soul forged steel ingots is used to make soul forged steel anvils and an infernal enchanter, which is basically your uh, this dead re replacement. Uh, you can use a soul forged steel anvil for so many things. Yeah, I, I can't even believe how many things there are. The soul forged steel anvil can be used for 21 recipes, and I, I don't even know. Like, it's so useful. This, in, yeah, it's very useful actually. Wow, okay. Yeah, this is good. Now we can get a huge bunch of recipes. Other than Sulfur Steel Anvil, I really don't think there's any other uses. Otherwise, you're breaking your uh, iron, uh, gold, your Sulfur, your chain mail. You can break down all of that stuff. You can get things. You can like basically like break down thing. You can break your, down th uh, break your things down back to their original stuff. Uh, I can take, oh, what is this? Pavement? Highly volatile. What the hell is this? Oh, explodes. Okay. I can cause explosions with that if I want to do that. Okay. That's pretty interesting. I can take pile of sand, make glass chunks, you know. And I can do a lot of stuff actually. Yeah, this is nice. This is good. This is good to have. Um, I don't really use this for the stoked cauldron. I don't think there are a lot. Oh, there's only 16. 
Uh, oh, this endless tag is pretty important because we need this stuff. We need the soul flux to make this uh, soul force chief ingot. I checked in JEI. Uh, it's used in making glue, which is basically a slime ball replacement, uh, which is good. Uh, oh, that's actually very good because, oh, I can take leather. Okay, that's pretty interesting. What else can I can take any kind of meat and I can make tallow. Okay, uh, is there any other way to make glue? Is there some efficient way of making glue other than leather? Okay, no, just leather. Okay, it's fine. I mean, but leather is a bit grindy in this mod pack, so it's really not my choice of things. PCB blocks, some explosions. Yeah, this is good. And we can also make potash. Uh, also, I want to check the speed of this thing. Uh, let's just go and we take some sawdust over here. I should have some sawdust. Oh, we have, wow, we have 1,000 sawdust. Okay, let's just grab a couple of sawdust. I want to see how fast this thing is. Okay, let's just go. Wow, it's it's faster than I'm putting the stuff in. What the crap? Okay, that is super fast. That is super fast, but I'm pretty sure... Oh, yeah, even the crucible will be that fast. Wow, okay. That is good. That is freaking good. That is actually so good. Nice, the crystal will be as fast as this. This is used for making the... Uh, I should probably make the nether sludge. Yeah, I should probably do that. Do I have some hellfire dust left over? Uh, I don't know if I do. Oh, I don't. Uh, but one thing I should definitely get is an urn. If a soul urn, if I use a soul urn while using the filtered hopper, that means that I actually don't get a gas spawning. What it does is basically takes the soul and takes it there. Maybe I should do that next episode because that will be something. Uh, but, okay, I should get some hellfire over here. Let me get some hellfire dust because I do need some of this hellfire dust. Uh, let us make some nether sludge because I do need that. Uh, so yeah, let me get the nether sludge and I'll be back. Yeah, this has been a very long episode. This has been split. This needs to be split into two episodes then because this is going to get pretty long. So I think this will be the end uh, of part two. I think I'll divide it into two parts. That will be probably that. And I think that's a good note to end up today's video. And guys, I think that is pretty much it for today's video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below for more Septech Ages. But guys, that's been Yami Gaming signing out. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh yeah.